So quick video on um, crosswinds, where to ride, and how much power you can save. So here we go, Richmond Park, beautiful day for it. Pretty cold, but a good good wind coming from the left-hand side. So at the moment, it's a bit, it's relatively uh, sheltered because there's quite a lot of trees on the left, a bit of a hill. Um, but you'll be able to see in a bit that there's an open field, wind coming straight across. And um, at the moment, there's a bit of a crosswind, and I sort of realised this. I was like, right, better sit to the right. Not like directly next to the person, but just slightly behind, because at the moment the wind's coming from the left and basically straight on, so it means that if you sort of add those winds together, then they're coming in sort of a diagonal across the person, so maybe resolves some forces or whatever. Um, but anyway, we're not, I wouldn't say we're hitting it, we're just going in at average, average speeds, not, not crazy, he's probably doing 250 or something on the front. So you can see behind we're doing, I'm doing like two, 250 or whatever, 200, and then you'll be able to see I sort of go to the side, and it's quite a lot easier. It sort of gets down more to like 180, and it's not above 200 at all. And when you get that, you'll sort of see there's like a sweet spot when you sort of surge a little bit forward. You'll get to a point where like you have to do no power, and if you can sort of stay just there, then it's really easy. It's sort of it's one of the best drafts you can get. It's almost better than sitting directly behind them, um, like unless there's a straight headwind because you are getting so much shelter. Um, so anyway, it was yeah quite quite a nice ride. I did some sweet spots. I just didn't really want to give the give the lad a turn, so I thought, why not make a video for YouTube about how to how to sit in the crosswinds? I mean, obviously I'm not a crosswind expert, um, but you know it's it's relatively obvious this whole thing. So the wind's coming from the left here, um, and you just want to be on the right because you want someone to protect you. You can sort of see on the person's elbow like their jacket on the right so here we go anyway I go behind can you see the power something zooms up to 250 260 280 300 300 almost and then I just do a little acceleration you saw I get back up to speed and immediately the power drops down to maybe 200 watts and it's just a lot easier to um to hold the wheel so if there is a slight crosswind even a tiny bit just make sure you are to the right or to the left of the rider um, and if there's a major crosswind then obviously you want to be further to the right uh, or left and get even try and get even more shelter so we're just about to come up to the end of the vid. Pretty quick vid. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped you with your crosswinds. Uh, well, with the, with the crosswinds if you're in a race or just out in training and just want to cop an easy ride. Uh, so this will be the end of the vid. Thanks for watching. See ya.